Hi, my name is Chris Wade and I'm a contractor in the City of Los Angeles. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a washer and a tub valve. When you find that this is leaking, um, most of the time the valves um, are going to have a, a washer on it. I'm going to show you an example right here. This is the washer. Um, this washer right here over time will start to corrode, break, there could be a number of reasons and you want to replace that. What you want to do is you just want to pop the cap off the handle and you want to, and if you're going to, when you replace these, make sure you turn the water off at the main. Uh, otherwise, once these are removed, uh, you're going to have water all over your lap. So you just want to unscrew the handle, pop the handle off, and inside here, you're going to see uh, a valve, a shower valve, which is typically looks like this. It's either going to look like one a small little short one, or it's it could be a long one, or it could be a long and fat one. Uh, basically, what you need to do is once you turn the water off and you get all this off, uh, you can pull this out, and uh, you need to basically check to see if these are bad, and if they are, you can uh, run down to your local hardware store, your plumbing supply shop, or your home center. You basically need to find the matching uh, uh, kit in order to uh, fix one of these things. And uh, once you do, uh, you basically just put it back in the way you took it out. And there are a set of tools that are basically specifically for these stem valves. You can see there are different ones. So there's going to be a different, uh, different type of tool. Uh, one, you know, this is for a very large one. This is for a small one. What you want to do is you just want to find the one that uh, fits your uh, particular one. And voila, the first one we tried. And you can see that it uh, turns it and you use this little wrench to uh, take it in and take it out. And there's really not much to it. You just, uh, like I said, you just uh, find the right valve, replace it, fix it, whichever you need to do. Uh, a lot of times it's easier just to replace the whole thing because once these start to go, these things are also probably corroding and just looking bad. It's better just to re, uh, replace them all. Um, you know, if one's bad, the other one is probably just behind it. And uh, there's really not much to it, you know. Turn off the water, make sure the water's off, find the right valve stem, find the right wrench, and uh, you can do it and save yourself some bucks.